you want to drive in Mexico, Uncle Ron's going to teach you how. You follow these rules, you'll be golden driving in Mexico. Number one, lanes. How to stay in your lane in Mexico. Depending on what kind of a highway you're on, four-lane highway, pretty typical like the United States. But a two-lane highway, if there is ample shoulder on the right side, and I'm not talking about that much, like maybe three feet, it will be expected if you're traveling at lower speed that you veer to the right and stay almost over to the edge of that shoulder, just like this. Cars will be passing around you and cars will be coming the other way and almost completely in your lane. You should be aware of this on a two lane road. This is one of the scariest situations you can face in Mexico is an oncoming semi when you are trying to pass somebody else. Number two, topes in you. Topes, what are they? Speed bumps, right? You've seen speed bumps before, but the country is absolutely littered with them. What's the good news? They don't really give speeding tickets in Mexico. Now, they do give speeding tickets in Mexico, but not nearly as much as they do in the United States. The reason for this is because it's actually quite a bit harder to speed through pedestrian areas because they put topes in constantly. Now, some topes have a sign, some topes have no sign, and it seems like almost every tree and vendor where it is in the shade there is a tope hidden trying to take out your suspension. Now, if you take the budget that you give yourself for speeding tickets in the United States, add that all up and put that into your suspension repairs in Mexico, you're gonna end up coming out about even. Number three, taxis. Every NASCAR driver is absolutely put to shame on a daily basis in Mexico by the taxi drivers here. They drive very fast, trying to get people as quickly as they can from one destination to the other. Why? They do not use meters here. So they get the same price if it takes them 45 minutes to take you to your destination or 15 minutes. So the faster they can make those routes, the more money they get. Side note here. When you take a taxi in Mexico, you need to negotiate the price before you get in and sit down. Getting out of the taxi at your destination is the wrong location and you will end up paying at least 25 to 50% more if you negotiate there versus the beginning of your trip. Number four, roundabouts. Now, in my world, roundabouts are a very simple thing. You come up to a roundabout, you yield to traffic that is inside the roundabout. Once you are in the roundabout, you keep moving until you come to your exit and then you exit. In Mexico, this is not always the case. You will come to roundabouts where you have a stop sign before the roundabout. You will come to other roundabouts where there are stop signs inside the circle of the roundabout. And you will come to roundabouts where there are no signs telling you what to do whatsoever. In these cases, you need to use the cojone rule. We'll explain that more later. Number five, motorcycles. Motorcycles in Mexico, and especially scooters, and especially, especially scooters with a little food bin on the back of the scooter to make deliveries obey neither the laws of gods nor men these people will do anything and everything to go fast run red lights go through pedestrian sidewalks go around cars go the wrong way anything to get to their destination 30 seconds faster if you don't want to kill a motorcyclist just kind of let them have their way it's just easier <laughs> Number six, the four-way stop, or what I like to call the cojone rule. Theoretically, at a four-way stop, whoever comes first to the four-way stop gets to go first. If you come to the four-way stop at the same time as someone else, you are supposed to yield to the right. However, 
in Mexico, this is absolutely not done. In Mexico, what you do is you come up to the four-way stop, everybody reaches their hand betwixt their legs to feel how big their cojones are. And I know you're saying, I'm a woman. You got cojones too. This rule can only be slightly bypassed by the who has the crappier car rule. That person gets to go first. And this always is in effect. Number seven, no right hand turns on a red light, ever. They don't have to put a sign up telling you you can't make a right hand turn on a red. No right hand turns on red lights. Number eight, horns. You're gonna hear a lot of horns in Mexico, especially as you get closer to the bigger cities. This is not meant in an aggressive way. You will very rarely see somebody with an angry face. You will never see somebody giving you the bird, even if you do something really incredibly stupid. It's meant to give you a, hey bud, I'm here. Hey, put down your phone, the light is green. And you will get this if you have not hit the gas within one quarter second of that light turning green. Be aware of this. Horns don't mean in Mexico what they mean in the United States. They're a lot friendlier. Number nine, bribing your way out of a ticket. Now I know what you're saying. Uncle Rome, I don't believe in bribery. Well, hell, don't go to Mexico. I don't know what to tell you. In Mexico, especially in the bigger cities, a lot of the police officers just work on street corners. And they can pull you over just standing on the street corner. And if you pull over, there's going to be a whole bunch of Spanish coming at you. Do not speak Spanish. It doesn't matter if you will, because you probably did something stupid. You need to ask if you can settle the ticket. Now pull out the equivalent of five American dollars and ask, si puedo pagar la fina aquí, can I pay the fine here? Most likely, everything goes away. If that fails, put another fiver on the spot, see if that don't help. Number 10. Blinkers and you. Blinkers don't mean the same things in Mexico that they mean in the US. People very rarely use blinkers to indicate that they are turning. However, if you are on a two lane highway, you come up behind a vehicle and you are sort of motioning that you are going to pass, it's very possible that you will see a left hand turn signal come on. This indicates that the person in front of you acknowledges that you are going to pass them. They will give you the maximum amount of space over on the shoulder and that from their vantage point, it looks clear that you can pass around them. The other thing you're going to see is hazard signals a lot. If cars know that they are going to slow down, they know that it's possible that you're not going to see the brake, they will put their hazard signals on. These are used at highway speeds regularly need to be aware of it. It just means that there's something you need to pay more attention to. Other than that, pretty much the turn signal is an absolute wasted device on most cars in Mexico. Thanks for following. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. This is Uncle Rome signing off.